Tonight we're going to be here at Epcot Center, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow where the 21st century began all the way back in 1982. But specifically today we're going to be talking about the year 1983 when a, an amazing, an amazing attraction called Horizons had its grand opening. We're going to talk about the history of the ride and where it used to sit. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. That's right, we're going to be talking about Horizons today, one of the long lost attractions here at Epcot Center. A lot of Disney fans, especially people who like Disney history, always talk about Horizons. That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to visit where the attraction used to be, what it looks like now, kind of give you guys a little backstory on the attraction, and who knows what else we're going to get into today, but it's going to be fun nonetheless. If you can dream it, then you can do it. Now, let's take a closer look. October 1st, 1982, Epcot Center had its grand opening. Then one year later, October 1st, 1983, Horizons, an attraction that opened here in Future World, had its grand opening. So right here, this photograph was taken in the year 1982. You can see they had a wall up. It said Horizons, a vision of the future. You can see in the photograph here, they were doing the construction on this and Horizons would open in 1983. So I'm guessing this photograph was taken around the year 1982. And in current day, you see there's still walls up getting ready for another attraction here at Epcot. That's just what they do. But this is the main entrance here. You would have walked down here and straight ahead would have been Horizons. I think the only thing left in this area that remains from Horizons is this planter right here. Looking at some of the bird's eye photographs, you can see this light and this light and this the shape of this planter from the photographs that I'm pointing out. So here's another photo, I believe, of the main entrance of Horizons. You can see this planter is still here to this day, still in the same shape, different flowers, and then they had another Horizon sign. So now this is the main entrance to Mission Space. Right here you can see there's a new little patch of, of greenery here for this entrance, but straight ahead is where the Horizons show building was. And the grand opening photograph was taken right over here. We would have been looking somewhere in this general area. They had a ton of cast members out here, a ton of blue and white balloons, and a stage. The cast members wearing similar outfits to the ones they were wearing at the grand opening of Epcot Center in 1982. This was taken in 1983. And this is what it looks like current day. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. In the photograph, you, you can't even see the old Wonders of Life pavilion. So pay attention to these palm trees here and these palm trees here because straight ahead is exactly where we were looking at in the photograph you can see even the lights to the right and left hand side the planters where those palm trees are are still here that other big planter in the center is still here and that's where the entrance to horizons was they used to have some big bushes out there some some bushes that were in the shape of like a almost like a cylinder around that planter but this is what Horizons looked like late at night. Now, this is the fun part. This is how you can match things up. If you look at the bottom of the photograph right now, you can see a manhole leading up to the entrance. Well, guess what? Here in the year 2021, manhole is still here, right here. And to the right of that is that little planter area next to the palm trees. So. Yeah, straight ahead is where that photograph was looking at the entrance to Horizons. It's crazy. That's how you can match things up. Just look for little things like lights, manholes, and trees, because most of the time those things don't change. Now behind this wall right here is this kind of rock work. You can see it continues down and gets smaller and smaller as it goes. And in this photograph, I believe this is where the photograph was taken from here, looking at Horizons. This would have been looking at it from the left-hand side. There was a trash can there, 
and you can see that rock work that I'm talking about. And then I believe this is the planter area here. But I could be wrong, just trying to figure things out because this rock work is the same one in that photograph. Also, check out how this rock work does the same thing. It goes right down there and there's a trash can. So looking back at this photograph, you can see how it goes down and there's the trash can right there. That's what I'm thinking. It's like that on the opposite side there. So Horizons originally opened October 1st, 1983. After General Electric ended their sponsorship, they closed in December of 1994. So from 1983 to 1984, it was open. General Electric was the sponsor. Then it closed. Interesting enough, during the 1994 closure, the next year, 1995, around the busy season of Christmas, the Universe of Energy and World of Motion, two huge attractions here in Future World, were both closed for a refurb. So Disney was like, we have to have a reason for people to visit Future World. We need to open this attraction. So December 24th, just in time for Christmas, it was a Christmas miracle, they reopened Horizons. Then Horizons would stay open all the way up to January 9th, 1999. Sadly, after that, it was demolished. I have a few photographs from when it was demolished. We'll take a look at those right now. Pretty crazy, man. A completely different building used to sit right there. Now let's look at those demolition photographs. The photographs of what it looked like when it was being completely demolished because if you visited the park, you could watch it basically get destroyed. So right here, it was a bird's eye view, but this is where the demolition photograph was taken. You can see there was a wall up but then look at the planter down there. This is why I believe that's the planter because if you look on the left and right hand side, you can see these lights right here on both sides. And this is that same design in the planter, the way it's almost like a diamond shape in a way. So I'm gonna take a seat right over here in the futuristic seating they have. <laughs> I don't know why this feels futuristic to me. And I'm gonna sit here and tell you guys all about Horizons. So Horizons was way ahead of its time and had so many different animatronics, so many show scenes, elaborate show scenes. You would hop on your Omnimover, which is just like the Doom Buggies, if you will, from the Haunted Mansion, that style of vehicle. And you would go through a section called Looking Back at Tomorrow, showcasing visions of the future as perceived from the era of Jules Verne, 1950s. Then it moved past two Omnimax screens, which was very groundbreaking at the time, if you will showing modern technologies and ideas that would be used to build the world of tomorrow. Afterward, the main part of the ride was visions of futuristic life in cities, deserts, undersea, and yes, even in space. Now, this was the only Disney attraction at the time with multiple endings. At the very end of the attraction, you, the rider, got to choose. You got to actually push a button on the Omnimover and select where you would like to go. Then it would take you back to Futureport. But before you went back to Futureport, you could either choose to go to Brava Centauri, which was space, the desert of Mesa Verde, or the Sea Castle Research Base, which is obviously the sea. Now, once you chose your path that would take you back to Future Port, you would go into a flight simulation that was kind of along the lines of Star Tours. You went through these huge screens that they basically went in and built mini models of the sea, space, and the desert and they created all these little show scenes and flew over it just like they did in Star Wars which would lead to Star Tours and something like you would see along the lines of Body Wars. This was very groundbreaking for the Disney company and any theme park at the time. Horizons would go on to be one of the biggest attractions for Disney guru fans. People who love Disney history always will talk your head off about Horizons. One of the most popular quotes that's still used in Disney parks to this day, if you can dream it, then you can do it, all stemmed from Horizons. It was in the theme song. If you can dream it, then you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That was from Horizons. And then somewhere along the way, Disney was like, hey, we can put that on a wall during construction and say that Walt Disney quoted that. He actually did not say that. These are what I'm talking about. You'll see some from time to time that say, if you can dream it, then you can do it, Walt Disney. He actually didn't say that. The theme song Horizons did though. 
Maybe he did say it, but it's actually known from the theme song of Horizons. So if you ever see someone wearing a If You Can Dream It Then You Can Do It t-shirt or see a sign on a construction wall that says If You Can Dream It Then You Can Do It, Walt Disney, it's not true. I found that completely interesting. Now I do remember riding Horizons. I remember certain things about Horizons. I remember the people who were upside down in the, in the space area. I do remember seeing scuba divers. Now I rode this ride I think maybe once in my lifetime. I did get to ride it. My mom always talks about smelling the orange groves. That's like the one memory she does have, smelling the orange groves. And I do kind of remember the ending sequence because I remember thinking I was on Star Tours and I got kind of confused. There were a lot of Star Tours-esque things in the Disney parks. You get Body Wars, Star Tours, and then Horizons had a flyover sequence just like you would see. So it was a very confusing time for a young Micah. But I think we're gonna walk around Mission Space and see if we can find anything left over from Horizons. And while we're at it, we're gonna hop on Mission Space because I never ever do this attraction. I'm gonna obviously go for the green. Don't really feel like doing the more intense mission today. Now, none of this is left over from Horizons. It was completely demolished. Everything was rebuilt. So I get that asked a lot, like is any of this left over from Horizons, even the inside? No, none of this is from Horizons. All right, we're gonna hop in here, stand by for the Earth mission, the easier mission here. Still deals with something that was in Horizons, you know, space. And if you look right over here, the original Horizons logo right there in the center, that is the original logo, the symbol for Horizons. Do you guys see it? It's right there in the very, very center. And this whole area right here kind of reminds me of the thing you would see in Horizons when the kid was upside down. I believe he was holding a Winnie the Pooh doll in that show scene. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. this this postcard thing select English yes let's see what we can do space cadet greetings from space life on Mars saucer invasion you don't have to ask me twice <laughs> into the, the gift shop here. See if there's any remains of Horizons in here. Now this is a completely new gift shop. I'm not even sure if Horizons had a gift shop, but I know there's some nods in here to Horizons. There's a nice hidden Mickey right there. You see his nose and his face and the ears here. There's also more hidden Mickeys right over here. There's one there and one right there. 
And there it is, the Horizons logo. Right there, you guys see the circle? That right there is one of the only things left from Horizons. Very interesting. It's right here at the cash register. I can't believe you rode Mission Space. It was about space, which was a scene in Horizon. So there's a little bit of Horizons left in there, but as far as the building goes, it was completely demolished. However, walking around this courtyard, all of this is left over from Horizons and that planter is left over from Horizons. I wish we could get that attraction back. I'm a huge fan of animatronics, huge fan of dark rides, and huge fan of large show scenes, and this attraction had it all. But who knows what the future of this area will hold. We do have construction happen over here with the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster. Who knows what the future of Mission Space will be. I'd love to see an attraction like Horizons come back to this area. What do you guys think? Sometimes I like to walk back here in Future World and look at the the benches, the lights, even the architecture here, this rock work, and all the plants, and this show building right here, because this straight up still looks like World of Motion from this side. And it kind of takes me back to old school Future World, something I really miss. I absolutely miss old school Future World. What about you guys? But they are still going with the plan of the space restaurant, which will take place back in this area. So we have something new to look forward to in this area of Future World. And the thing about Epcot is it's just like any Disney park. As long as there's imagination left in the world, Disney will never be complete. Not just Disneyland, but I believe Disney. I've said that before in my videos. I believe as long as there's imagination in this world, Disney will never be complete. Well, you guys, I think we took care of business here today at Epcot, learning and talking about Horizons, the now extinct Disney attraction, but one of the many Disney attractions that people still talk about to this day. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what this attraction is, and I highly encourage you to do your own research and look up online videos of ride-throughs of this amazing attraction and see for yourself what Disney was up to back in 1983. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end, which means time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at Epcot, tell them World of Micah sent you. I will see you guys on the next adventure. If you and your family ever got to ride Horizons, comment below. Let me know which adventure did you choose at the end. Space, desert, or sea? Comment. Let me know. See you on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. If you can dream it, then you can do it. Goodbye.